live from the SSD Studios, it's the Super Squad D Giveaway Show! Starring Joseph Craven. Tyler Blunt. And tonight's guest, Broadway superstar Alexander Hamilton. Welcome to the Super Squad D Live Show. I'm here with uh, L Woods. And this, of course, is Grammy nominated recording artist Kesha. Thanks for yeah. that sweet introduction. You're watching the uh, Super Squad D Live Show, where the D stands for Debut. Disappointment. Oh. Oh. Well, this okay. is. Okay. Whoops. It's kind of awkward. All right. Tonight's show is sponsored by Pebble Smartwatches. May you rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah, we miss Pebble. We are big, mm -hmm. big sponsors of Pebble ourselves. That's not true. Hey, this is Super Squad D, <laughs> Joseph Craven, Tyler Blunt. Uh, this is our first episode, which is terrifying. Yeah, this is actually live. Yeah. Well, kind of. Not for you. You guys have actually a 30 second delay. Hold the applause. I don't I don't Just appreciate this. Pace, yeah, Why pace, did they applause when they said pace, 30 seconds? Pace second? yourselves. Calm guys. down, guys. Pace yourselves. So uh, this is there's a 30 second delay, but it's actually live. So mm -hmm. everything that we say and do, like there's no filter. Which is really scary for some of you it's, out there. Yeah, it's going to be bad. I'm scared. It's going to be bad. But we are excited uh, to present this brand new experiment, <laughs> yeah. for lack of a better term, with you guys. Tyler and I have been friends since, gosh, I was like six years old or something yeah. like that. Well, we've known each other that long. We've we, been friends for know. about yeah. like three weeks. Let's slow but, down. Um, but we really are excited about doing this show right now uh, because we want to have an outlet to talk about the stuff that entertains us. Um, to interact with you guys, we're paying attention to the live chat. Crack that thing open. We're paying yeah, attention baby. to the live chat as we go. So, you know, keep everything coming. Uh, we, uh, of course, like I said, 30 second delay. Yeah. So don't be alarmed if we don't get to your comments on an instantly. I'd like but, to know where everyone's from. Go ahead. If you guys just want to drop in the chat where you're from, I'd first love to know. First. Just to see, you know. Where everyone around the globe yep. lives. It's pretty cool. <laughs> everyone around the globe. Li well, they live around the globe. I mean, I can tell you they do. There, there's some jet setters in here. I can tell mm, you that much. Absolutely. Right so, uh, first episode. Uh, what are we doing? Why are we doing it? Well, I mean, if you've yeah. looked, tuned into some of Tyler's uh, Facebook Live giveaways the past few weeks, you kind of understand some of it. But what we're doing here is we are looking to just give stuff away. That's um, it. I mean, that's really the basic premise. Is that's it. We're gonna we're trying to give away the stuff that we. Uh, the stuff that we enjoy, yeah, and we we hope that you enjoy it as well. But Tyler, why are we giving stuff away? Why don't you explain? I'm so that? glad you asked. Since that's kind of your thing. incredibly unprompted way. Thanks for that. I'm a professional. Uh, so for those who know me, uh, maybe you don't. Probably not a lot of people know me. Um, but I'm Tyler, and I was born in 1985. This is a long way. This is a long time ago. A long way back. We're giving the entire backstory. We are. This is, the this origin is my story. origin story. So I was born with a genetic disease called cystic fibrosis. And when I was born, the doctors told my parents that I probably wouldn't live beyond 18. Uh, and I've just been super blessed to be super healthy and to still be here 30 years later, still mm -hmm. kicking. Uh, and just with this idea of gratitude, I came up with this plan just to give stuff away. Yeah. Like just to be nice. And I hope to inspire you guys maybe a little bit tonight. Uh, and throughout the course of however long this show runs, before we get canceled, who knows when that will happen. But We're uh, the ones in charge, well, so it's just whatever we get tired of. That's what you think. The FCC has a lot to do with this. I had no idea. Um, but we're going to run until we get canceled, and, sure. and hopefully this will inspire you guys to just do something nice. And that's kind of what we hope from this, that you'll take from this. That you'll come, you'll have a good time, you'll laugh with us, laugh at us. And uh, you'll be able to have some fun, yeah. learn something. We're going to talk about things that interest us, but more importantly, that you'll kind of begin to see outside yourself. And, yeah. and so we'll talk more about that as we get closer yeah. to the giveaway. How many giveaways are we going to do tonight? That is another great, totally unprompted segue. It is. Uh, we are actually, since this is the first episode, we're super excited about this, but we are going to be doing two live giveaways during the course of this show. And, two giveaways. Uh, and what happens if you're not watching live? Like maybe like... If you're not one of the three people who are watching this live right now. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm looking at the live chat. Yeah, we this got, chat's blowing it up. We got so many dudes from New York that think it's mostly New York. I yeah, see I can dig it, dude. Jersey, Georgia. I can uh, dig it. 
The guy from Georgia, Alec, qu- clarified that he's from the state of Georgia. Okay, not the country. Not the country. So thank you, question, Alec, for that. Question. Do the residents of the country of Georgia talk like this? Well, this is our last episode of Super Squad D Giveaway. We've been show. canceled. We apologize. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm shutting apologize it down. Apologize for I'm anyone canceling. who got offended. Canceling. Uh, we live from the, we're from Mississippi. We can say what we want. It's fine. We're from Mississippi. No. It feels right. So if you're not watching this live, you're checking out um, the re- recording. You're looking at the replay on YouTube later on. Don't worry. You still have a chance to win something because not only are we doing two live giveaways today, we're going to be doing a third one. Later in the week. A third giveaway? A third giveaway. So, you may, can I tell them how they win? Yeah, I was going to say we're going to give you details on that one later on, but I no, guess you need to I'm tell doing them it. I'm just going to drop it right now. Because look, some people are starting this video. They're not watching it live. They're going to get into like three minutes and be like, these okay. guys are idiots. All right. And you're right. You're completely right. But we're idiots with the cause. So, yeah. what we're going to do is, if you will comment on this video. Now, this is after it's, it's live, when it's been posted. If you're watching this later... Comment on the video. That's all you have to do. Well, we're going to... It's a comment about a specific topic. Right. And we'll get to we'll that get to the topic. at the end okay. of it. But, but we, all you have to do is comment. In the meantime, the win. live giveaways, which are the most important things for now, I feel like we need to get that mm-hmm. out of the way. We're going to be sending out some links in the live chat. So make sure you have the live chat loaded up. That's right. Uh, there's two sign-up links. We're going to send out the first one. Uh, the first giveaway will happen in about the middle of the episode. Okay. The la- uh, second giveaway at the end of the episode. Good. Um, I'll tell you what, Tyler, why don't you introduce what we're giving away in that first Sure, giveaway. so the, the first the giveaway, boop, let me reach into my magical bag of goods. Boop, 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 boop. Here we go. We've got, for your viewing pleasure, from the generous, one of my friends, John Han, he has decided to give away to you guys, because he likes you, some awesome books. And he sent a lot of books, so we're giving some of them away tonight. We got Batman. It is Batman, the Black Case book. And this is what supposedly inspired Batman R.I.P. It's a tray paperback. We've got by Grant Morrison, Batman in the Black Glove. This is an awesome story. Grant Morrison. He he really is a good writer. And if you don't believe it, I will fight you. And then we've got another Grant Morrison, Batman and Son. We're going to be giving all of these away. The only thing that I have to mention is that in this giveaway... This is for domestic U.S. only because we are incompetent and don't know how to ship internationally. So I mean, we know how to, but it's going to be crazy expensive, and all of this stuff kind of operates on donations. And I don't know have, how to. There's no budget for this show. Yeah, so. the budget's really in yeah. the negative right now. Yeah. Um, but we're going to give this away uh, halfway through the show, and then we're going to give away a gift card, and the gift card is all countries. Yeah. Wherever you're exactly. from. Exactly. So don't worry. From Columbus, if- Ohio, to your point on the map, you could win this. <laughs> Uh, we do have some international viewers right now. A couple, uh, someone from yeah, from England, from Chile. So that's cool. Good to see you guys I here on the show. That. Yeah, exactly. I and we'll get all that. the details going on. Uh, One other thing I want to mention really okay. quick is that this is going to be a weekly show. Yes. We're going to do this every Tuesday. Write it down. Every Tuesday at eight p.m. Central, you can get your kicks in. Maybe you can watch live. If you're not watching this live, join us. We'd love to have you. If you can't watch it live, check it out. It's going to be on the Super Squad D YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. We're going to have one to two videos posted later in the week. Yeah. And uh, we got some good stuff in store for you on our channel. It's going to be really fun. Some some skits and some stuff. Actually, I, if I were you, I would not get my, my hopes up very high. I wouldn't oh, set, set, set that bar, bar low. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, set that bar real low. Do you have that first link set up where you can send it out in the live chat? Or would you prefer um, me to do that? Why don't you go ahead and do I'll that? I'll do that. But first, I'll get you started on our first uh, discussion segment. Okay. Um, so that... We don't miss a beat here on the show. Okay. Um, obviously, some of the big, biggest news in the video gaming community. And I'll give you a hint. I kind of like the video gaming community a little bit. Yeah. Um, some of the biggest news is, of course, everything surrounding the Nintendo Switch, which is coming Ooh. out. Uh, coming out fairly soon. Um, yeah, we've March got third. March third. We've got the full. Spe- it's a little over a month. We got the full specs printed out on a, what was released. Um, I guess was that released. Yeah, a couple days ago. A couple days ago. I forget the exact date on that. But um, everything about it, Tyler's got like the launch. Everything. Now, Tyler, you, you've actually pre-ordered the Switch, haven't you? Yeah, so here's what happened. Um, they announced a Nintendo Switch, and or they announced that there was going to be an announcement about a new Nintendo console, and I thought, boy, maybe I'd like to get that. I don't know that much about it. Uh, I went to bed, didn't stay up the announcement, and I woke up the next morning, started looking into it, and I thought, well, I don't know if I really want to Switch. 
And then I saw that the Switch pre-orders were completely sold out. Just and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have a Switch. That's how they get you. It's, it's all marketing. It. Uh, so I was like, man, I really Capitalism need a Switch. And then one finest. It is. So then one of my friends posted in one of the Facebook groups I'm on and said, hey, the Switch just went back up on Amazon. And it was live for, I think, like five minutes before they took it down. And I rushed right away and I, uh, I got it. I pre-ordered it. So that was pretty fantastic. I've got a list here of launch titles. Mm. I don't know why I made that noise. Yeah. I, I instantly regretted that. You should regret that. What are some of these titles we're looking at? Okay, so launch day, we're going to have on the Nintendo Switch. It's called the 1-2 Switch. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Obviously the system seller. Yeah, you would really think so. I mean, here's what I like about Breath of the Wild. It comes out on the Wii U. So if you've got a Wii U and you just don't have the money to upgrade, or right now I think the Switch is sold out like everywhere. I went into GameStop and asked... The other day, I was looking for some Funko Pops, and I asked the guy behind the counter if there was any pre-orders left, mm-hmm. and he literally laughed in my face. Like, not, <laughs> not he literally laughed in my face, and I was like... What a jerk. Okay. And he was like, oh, did, were you serious? I, I was serious, but... So they're sold out largely because of that game, Breath of the Wild. I mean, it is just... It is the lot system of seller of a game. A lot of hype. Huge world. Um, everything about it looks really great. We got Skylanders, Imaginators... Just Dance 2017. Which is what I'm most excited about. He can't wait for Just Dance. This guy, he can really dance. He actually was going to... Did you want to tell him about the game you were thinking about making called Really Dance, the sequel to Just Dance? No. It was really good. Really Dance. Um, We got I Am Setsuna. Don't know much about that title. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. The Binding of Isaac has been a game out. It's been for a while. Yeah, you ever played that one? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I played it as well. It was actually pretty hard. Yeah, it's very difficult. Maybe I've said a little it. bit. Totally. World of Goo, um, which I believe is another port. Human Resource Machine, which I can only imagine involves a lot of paperwork. Yeah, a lot I, of. Uh... I don't think that's a game. I think that's a selling point on the system. It doubles as an <laughs> HR machine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that uh, I deal with the HR machine every day. I play that game every day of my life. It's really <laughs> exciting. Write-ups, notices, going oh, yeah. to talk to the boss. Uh, and then a game Wheels called Road. Little Inferno. So you totally skipped over Super Bomberman R. Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah, that's, that, that's the one you're actually really that's, excited that's about. That's a staple of like old school <laughs> gaming re-ma- reimagine right there. Is Super yeah, Bomberman. That's a good R. game. That is a really good game. I don't know what the R is supposed to stand for, but I like it. I think it stands for uh, Rejoice. How do you feel about this um, launch day lineup? So here's the thing about the Switch, and I'd love to, what do you guys think about the Switch? Let us know in the comments yeah. below or in the chat. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would love to know. Before what... we, before this gets buried, though, I do want to yeah. point out that uh, Mitch Netzer has said he would pay for YouTube Red to watch you have to fight an audience member. <laughs> and I don't know what we have to do to make that happen, but that is the, that's now going to be the sole mission of this YouTube channel. Is yeah. to set up okay. a series of videos in which Tyler just has to fight some of you. Well, it's really just going with me getting beat and crying in a corner. That was the point. <laughs> I mean, that I know that's point. what you're shooting for. I'm glad you glad you brought that to my attention. Comment on what you what you think about the switch. We'll look be looking at those comments uh, in just a few minutes, and also comment about whether or not you think you could beat up Tyler. <laughs> yeah, fight. we all know you. Um, I have CF, dude. Calm down, guys. Easy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. Don't you don't you feel great about yourself? Beating up someone with cystic fibrosis, real mature, real mature. Uh, so, when I heard about the Switch, they announced some other titles that weren't, they're in the launch window, and mm. then they announced some titles that are coming out later mm. this year, and it's a really long list, uh, a lot of excitement over some of the third-party support, which, i got to be honest, at this point in life, I buy a Nintendo console knowing I'm only getting it for Nintendo games. Like, I've got a PlayStation, right. I've got an Xbox... Yeah. So the fact that Elder Scrolls Skyrim is coming out this fall on the Switch, like, that's really cool. Mm-hmm. If you somehow manage to not play Skyrim at this point. Right. Like, who at this point in their <laughs> life has not played Skyrim? If you're interested in Skyrim, don't wait for the Switch. Just yeah, play Skyrim. I mean, I mean goodness. Go it ahead exists it. on everything ever. So I'm not going to rebuy that. But there are some Nintendo titles that are coming out. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Remix is coming out. I think that's the name of it. And some other Nintendo stuff, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Deluxe. But the game that I'm most excited about, Beyond Zelda, that they announced, and, and I sometimes I like to play this game. Easy. Easy. Not that kind of a game. 
don't know. Easy. I don't know what you're getting at. <laughs> no one else said anything. Everybody, you were the only me. person. Get your going minds there. right. You're the only person. Sometimes going I there. like to play this game where I think about what would be my dream Nintendo game, right? What would be the thing that I would want most mm-hmm. from a Nintendo game? And like literally, two of the games on the Switch check mark the box for my dream Nintendo game. So one of them... Skylanders. Sky, it's okay. Skylanders. One of them that's not on the list, that hasn't gotten made yet, Nintendo, I know you're watching live. Like, I can I can honestly say, I believe you are watching this live. And uh, listen to my words. So, if you ever played the Dynasty Warriors game, they came out with a game <laughs> called Hyrule Warriors, which was uh, made by the team that made Dynasty Warriors, but it was Legend of Zelda style. I would love to see a game like that that was all Nintendo characters. That yeah. would be really fun. So like be, Mario, yeah, Donkey like you Kong. take the the thrill of, I mean, Super Smash Brothers in mm-hmm. terms of being able to use these all these Nintendo characters. That's right. In you know a completely different way, and then putting them in that sort of world where I mean that was something that I'll be honest with you in, in high school I played a lot of Dynasty Warriors because yeah. I was like I want to get in and kill a thousand peasants with spears right it now. It felt right. Why not? <laughs> it just Why felt not? right. Yeah. So that would be one of my dream games. One yeah. of them would be a giant Skyrim-style Zelda. And that's kind of what we're getting. Like, just a really massive open-world Zelda. We won't beat that horse dead. But the other Mm -hmm. one that I really am excited about, because it was one of my favorite Mario games ever, was Mario 64. Yeah. And and, And they're coming out with a Mario that's similar to this, in that one of the things I loved about Mario 64 is, when I was a kid, I would play for hours just in the castle, running around, wall jumping, um, if you beat the game with all of the stars, you get on top of the roof, and someone had told me, and maybe this is possible, I don't know, maybe someone in the chat who's watching it live or in the comments later can confirm it, but one of the times, or one of the things that I'd heard was that you could wall jump at a certain spot and not get 120 stars, I think that was the star cap, to get up to Yoshi. So I spent like hours <laughs> trying to wall jump out in the corner of Mario 64 to cheat to get up to, like I could have easily gotten the stars in the time I spent trying to sure. get up. But it was just really fun. It was open world in that you could just go all around the castle and do all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. And it looks like the new Mario game is going to be like that. I'm excited to think? see what... I mean, I don't... It's hard to tell right now what exactly it's going to be like because, you know, you've had... <clears throat> I feel like ever since Super Mario 64, mm-hmm. they've been trying to find what they want to do with Mario games. And it's been a little hit or miss. Like yeah. I feel like none of them have really... Even if they're really good... None of them have really hit like Super Mario 64. What did. was the hit for you? Like, what were some of the hits after after uh, Mario 64 in the Mario franchise? Yeah, Mario 64. Yeah, that's the <laughs> that was that was the climb, that was like the 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 tip point for you. Uh, I mean, it really was because it was just something that had a I don't know it had a lot of value, not just it, not just the. Uh, how great of a game it was, but just like the going back on it now and it brings me back to my childhood, you know? Yeah. Um, and I remember the feeling that I had opening up in the Nintendo 64 and Super Mario 64 for the first time. Like, I remember that feeling. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm always going to, I'm always going to like that. And that's kind of what I feel like this Zelda has the potential to do. Um, I do want to, you know, you look at the launch window mm-hmm. and you mention <clears throat> some of the games like Skyrim, uh, and then you even mentioned a lot of the games that have been kind of lacking for Nintendo in a little while that other <laughs> other uh, systems have. Just yeah. as simple as like, you know, the sports games, for example, just don't get made for yeah, that's the, true. <laughs> Nintendo. And they're, they're making those again. And I think that shows that the Switch, mm-hmm. even if it's not going to compete with the uh, PlayStation 4 Pro, the Xbox One S in terms of like yeah. 4K and... And everything like that. Even if it's not going to compete on that level, it's it's back to it's at a respectable level where people can make regular sp- games for <laughs> yeah, it again. Yeah. Um, but it also is innovative. Yeah. I agree. And that's the strength of that's what they did with the Wii. That's mm-hmm. what they did with the Wii U. They were just trying to be different, and that's what mm-hmm. I respect so much about Nintendo in most recent years. Um, is yeah, I mean, I get that uh, graphically. Not quite the same. Yeah. You know, I get it has its limitations like that, but it's innovative. The The original Wii motion controller, I mean, without that, we wouldn't have, like, the obsession with virtual reality yeah. headsets. It was now. a lot you of know, hours was... of fun with that Wii mode, trying to play tennis and bowling and stuff yeah. like that. Oh it ended gosh, up being kind of gimmicky in some of the other games, but, like, that one multi-game 
yeah. was so fun. And I think it it worked well. So I think it worked really well. So here's a game. Let's talk about a game that really confuses me. Okay. There's one game in the launch window oh, yes. that really, really confuses okay, me. Okay, you talk about innovation. Yeah. You talk about weirdness and right. all this. I mean, this is like it's one. It's it's a perfect. I mean, it's WarioWare, Mario Party, <laughs> taken to a different Wii level. Sports. I mean, it's like it's all of these things. And it is glorious. Can you? Do you have a clip? Can you play that? I do me? have a clip. Do you want to say what the name of the game is? Let's well, just play the clip. I think we should just let the let it let it play for itself. All right, Let's yeah, play the clip. It, it's it's a particular game, but. This particular part aspect, this particular aspect of the game is really yeah. what... What I'm concerned about a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Take a look. Wow. That, that was, was ridiculous. I'm reading the chat here. There's at, a lot of people who uh, who had some fun on Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo yeah. Um, look, <clears throat> we're going to go we're going to go back to the chat in just a second, so don't worry. But what I do want to uh <laughs> well, explain to me that game though, please. Okay, if you're at home, I'm having problems. Here's what I'm having problems with. First of all, this that is footage and we thank the uh, the the YouTube channel. We left their little logo at the front of it, uh, you know, Gaming only that uh, yeah to Thanks. give them credit for where we got that, but that is footage of one two switch. So here's what I'm having trouble with, guys. Help me understand. Connect with me a little bit. Here's where I'm confused. Don't okay? look too deeply in his eyes. You'll fall Here, in love. Here's where I'm confused. That game, I, I understand. Somebody somewhere thought, let's make a milking game. That sounds cool. I can believe that one person thought that or two people, but that game went through like an editor and a project manager and like five developers and then a review team. That game went through like tons of people who said, let's make a milking game. Mm -hmm. What? What? Please. Somebody please help me. I'm I mean, not, I'm how not, did that happen? Like, who, I'm not surprised by that. I'm it. really freaked out by Did you see the joy on that woman's <laughs> face when she beat the fat guy in milking? I've never seen two they people have as much fun milking. the hats. They were ready for it. I have literally never seen people I have, have that much fun milking. I have milking. so much respect for them. So much respect uh, for them. Okay, look. I'm going to be honest with you. That doesn't bother me at all. But why? That well, bothers I, me. I have a second video clip ready to show oh, you guys. Dude? As to why it doesn't bother me, it's because on the Wii, um, me and several of my friends have been known to get together uh, and play a particular. Um, Wait, what Jap friends? Don't worry about it. The play we play a particular Japanese import game that um, is a lot more fun than it seems, <laughs> and that's important because, well, I don't know. This is what it is. Before we get into this clip. Don't forget, I've sent out the, the link to the to sign up to win um, in the live chat, so check on that. We'll come back from this in a second and talk a little bit more about um, what's going on in the live chat. But enjoy this footage of a game that I, I can't wait to see what I this know is. and love. I'm pretty excited about it. It's known as Muscle March. We yeah. win. ま、すぐ更新客。ヘイユー、見ているだけでいいのかい
シェイクしてバタバタしてテイクダウンしかし筋肉を甘やかしてる暇はないうなれんもサンマスキャー中央無尽に広がるステージで君の乳酸上昇率はマックスにご覧切れてる仲間がいっぱいだご自慢のボディを見せつけろおでくらべゲームでは最大4人まで参加できまするストイックな君にぴったりだろう思う存分君の筋肉をいじめてみようナイスモーション様のおとりだい切れてる切れてる切れてるぜ What did we just see? What was okay. that? <laughs> so here's the plot of Muscle March. There's no plot, but here's this. <laughs> Basically, you take control of a meathead and a group of meatheads, and someone steals your protein powder. So you probably saw oh, no. he grabs a huge jug of protein powder and is running away with it. So you're all chasing after the guy to catch the guy who stole your protein powder. <laughs> and he's busting through walls, and you have to hit the right pose. Oh. And it is the, it's the worst. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just, there's no way to describe it other than the way that... Uh, David Alexander McDonald has said in the live chat, Japanese import games, ah yes, the things that rewi- rewrite your brain meets. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's a strange one. So that's why you're not concerned at all about the, the milking game, because that's like a tame game because compared I, to what you and your friends have been playing. I've looked deep into the abyss, and I've come back a changed man. Okay. That was deeply profound. It wasn't. That was, really that was fantastically about. profound. Hey, uh, I think it's about time... I'm looking at the clock here. Okay. It's about Good. time for a giveaway. So here's something that I would love for you guys to do. If you've made it this far, you're in the live stream, or you're in the, uh, if you're watching not live, I'm checking the chat over here to make sure that link is posted. Uh, if you would consider just subscribing to our channel and liking this video, that would mean a ton to us. If you like it. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe for more like likes. Subscribe. Wait, no, that's not how it goes. Like and subscribe. Okay, sure. So uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that'd be awesome. If you're having a good time and... And you, you want to see more of this. If you want to see less of this, hit the subscribe button twice. <laughs> yeah. That's, that'll show us. <laughs> we'll never see it. Coming. We'll never see it. So you want to set up this uh, next little segment, and then we'll do. do the giveaway? I do. Okay. Do it. This is your... Wait, let's uh, high five first. Okay. I just wanted to always do that on camera. You feel that magical yeah. power? Yeah. Say it again. Good. I'm what? sorry. I don't know. I just want to see what happened. You just had to watch Muscle March and then that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, putting up the link one more time. <laughs> Be sure to sign up because at the end of this segment is when we're actually going to draw a winner. Um, this is a little segment, that pre-prepared thing. Uh, it's, it's a segment about retro video gaming. Uh, something that we're referring to as the AARG. Hmm, the AARG. I'd love to join. Since this is the first episode of the SSD Live Giveaway Show... It also marks the first segment in which I, Joseph Craven, get to talk about some of my favorite old school video games. So why not start things off with my favorite Nintendo 64 game of all time, Space Station Silicon Valley. 1998's cartoony sci-fi delight, Space Station Silicon Valley, told the ridiculous tale of two mercenaries hired to discover why the titular space station had re-emerged after a thousand years of being lost in space. Man, the 90s were awesome for storylines. So upon crash landing on the station, the robot part of the mercenary duo is launched from the ship, with its body splitting into four parts and its main processing microchips separating and wandering around on its own. Without the body around it, Evo's microchip is steadily losing power, so it must take control of whatever deactivated robot animal body it can find in order to avoid dying. Oh. Right, so the space station is inhabited by robot animals. That's important to know because otherwise you would be confused as to why you were controlling a rocket launching dog on wheels. And a lot of the gameplay revolved around using these different animals to solve puzzles. Before using any animal though, you had to figure out how to defeat it and deactivate it so that you could take control of its limp and lifeless body. The game really shines in the attention to little details, especially its encouragement of creative problem solving. Each animal has two abilities controlled by the classic A and B buttons, And those abilities are useful in some situations, but completely useless in others. See, a sheep, for example, can't attack, which puts it at a massive disadvantage when facing something like 
a lion, which wants nothing more than to eat the sheep. But the sheep can float in midair, you know, because it's soft and fluffy like a cloud. Just, you know, don't overthink it. So if there are any platforms floating in the air that you have to navigate to, the lion isn't going to be able to get there. The sheep can. And if there's a series of switches that have to be activated in a quick and orderly manner, then a slow floating sheep isn't exactly helpful. You want Rocket Dog and his zippy quick wheels. Of course, the game is pretty open in how you solve the puzzles, so there's really no reason at all that you couldn't use the dead body of that slow sheep to hold down a switch while you casually hit the other switches with the dog. Be creative, that's kind of the point of Space Station Silicon Valley. It's not quite a sandbox game, but it was about as close as you could get from a 3D platformer in the late 90s. And I think that's why I loved it so much as a kid, because while it was fun to beat video games and to defeat levels and keep advancing, this game brought a lot more joy out of the fact that you could reload a completed level just to explore it deeper and see what the different animals could do. If Super Mario 64 brought platforming to new heights by introducing Introducing a lot of open world elements, then Space Station Silicon Valley took it to a different level by introducing new ways to interact with the world that you were placed in. Now this is big time for a game that not a whole lot of people actually remember, but if you go back and look at the history of the game, it's not all that surprising. Development began in 1995 as a deal between developer DMA Design and publisher BMG Interactive. These names might not mean much of anything to you these days, but you might recognize some of their handiwork. BMG had the rights to publish a few games in the 90s, such as Gex, a game they made with 3DO and Crystal Dynamics about a lizard and sunglasses, because once again, the 90s were pretty great as far as storylines go. DMA design was a little more notable in the gaming industry though, as the small Dundee, Scotland based developer, here's their original location, reached notoriety in 1991 with the release of their puzzle platformer hit game, Lemmings. In the mid-90s, DMA started work on a game they were entitling Race and Chase, with a bunch of apostrophes, race apostrophe and apostrophe chase. After years of struggling to figure out exactly what they wanted to do with the game, they finally put out a massive finished product in 1997 that they were very proud of. Of course, by then, they have decided to drop the apostrophes, and the name had changed from Race and Chase to something called Grand Theft Auto. Eventually, the companies would be purchased by Take-Two Entertainment, and years later, all of this would be known as Rockstar North. You might have heard of them. Following the success of the original GTA, DMA Design and BMG, who owned the publishing rights, worked to finish and release Space Station Silicon Valley. Critics raved about this game, actually, calling it clever, witty, comical, innovative, and very, very original. Metacritic put it at an 83 out of 100, a quite positive positive rating all in all. Everyone as a whole was pleased with the game itself, but it didn't sell very well, and it got very little attention upon its release, which means that the studio scrapped any plans for a sequel and moved on to other things. But why was there no attention for such an innovative game in 1998? Well, Space Station Silicon Valley was released in October of that year, and in 98, Nintendo was putting all of their marketing eggs into a basket known as The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time to be released in November 1998. Now these days you can find a copy of Space Station Silicon Valley pretty easily on eBay or Amazon or some sort of online retailer, ranging from as low as like 20 bucks for just a cartridge or, you know, up into the $70 range for the box and manuals and everything included, which is a nice piece for collectors. And it's a heck of a fun game to play either way, if you're more of, you know, the emulator sort. As for me, well, my well-worn cartridge is sitting in my bedroom at home, ready to take me back to the game that taught me that accomplishments and unlockables and beating the game was only one thing. The true joy of video games could be found in simply exploring the game as deeply as the developers intended you to. And, you know, also taking control of a hyena and making an enemy laugh itself to death. <laughs> There we go. I Space, love that hyena at the Space end. Space Station there. Silicon Valley. That's so great. Yep. Oh, that is fantastic. Good stuff. <laughs> Thank you. That so, was a game that I used to rent a lot from Blockbuster. Oh, man. Yeah. I love Blockbuster. Hey, that was a really good and informative uh, ARG. I look forward Thanks. to seeing more of those. I don't Thanks. know about you guys at home, but I look forward to seeing more of those. 
Uh, there's several uh, comments in the live chat talking about people, uh, or coming from people who said that, you know, they played, remember that game, enjoyed that game. It was kind of a heartwarming and a weird one. Yeah. And I think one that really set the stage for a lot of uh, what we now call the sandbox genre. Well, let me just be really honest. Happened. Mm-hmm. If that was successful, maybe we'll all be milking some cows later. It wasn't successful. I don't know why I did that gesture either. I, re- I deeply regret that. To the f- three viewers we have yet to offend and run off, I deeply regret that. Once again, we want to welcome you to the last episode of Super it's, Squad D. It's Evolution. been fun. It's been yeah. real fun. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Mm. So, uh, time for a giveaway? I'm feeling a giveaway! Hey, why don't you bring those books back up here again? So, we'll, uh, let's so show this These are the, the three books that, that we are giving away right now. Um, we've mentioned it, of course. Um, you have The Black Glove, Batman the Black Glove. You have Batman and Son. You have The Black Case Book. Mm. Three I'm good noticing, books. Noticing a theme here. It's a Batman theme. They're all Batman books. So, some weeks we're going to give away books. Some weeks we're going to give away action figures. Some weeks we're going to give away gift yeah. cards. Uh, you never know what you're going to get, so come join us live and watch later. You always have speaking, a chance. If you're speaking here. of action figures, we did have someone who asked who's that yeah. standing right there in the middle of this the This would be Hitake Kakashi from the hit anime show Naruto. Um, we won't get into all this today, but my friend Joseph and I had a pretty popular Naruto website yeah, we in the early 2000s. Our, one of our first uh, adventures. I don't like to brag. 2003? You know I don't like to brag. You brag all the time. It was, it was... It was well over 10 years ago that we had a fan website. But anyway. <laughs> it was pretty fantastic. Yeah. It was a sidebar. There'll yep. be, there will be an episode called The Secret History of Joseph and Tyler, yep. and it will be fantastic. It's just not tonight. Giveaway time? I'm thinking it's giveaway time. So again, I want to just remind you guys why we're doing this, why we do these giveaways, and what we expect from you. So we say they're free, and they are, yeah. but with a little bit of a catch. Um, I mentioned at the top of the show, and if you happen to be here, or if you're watching after and you're just skipping ahead, I mentioned that I was born with cystic fibrosis. Um, When I was born, medical technology in 1985 was not near as advanced as it is on CF. Uh, And so my parents were told that I wouldn't live to be 18. But here I am, 30, young and 30. 30's the new... 40. That doesn't sound right. That feels wrong. So what I wanted to tell you guys and and kind of where my heart is and where his heart is, is that we just want to be known for generosity. We want to be known as people who think outside ourselves and do stuff. And and there are people, you know, coming out of 2016 was a hard year for a lot of people. Uh, It was a rough year for just a lot of people. And we kind of want 2017 to be good because we set the stage. You know, sometimes it's easy to forget that we can't control a lot of what goes on, but what we can control is what happens immediately in our lives. And I mean, you can get lost very <clears throat> easily in you know negative Facebook, Twitter posts, you know social media um, mudslinging mm. over anything at all, from you know important issues to the stupidest issues. Yeah, people get mad and <laughs> and want to get you know angry at each other over that, and that's something that we're hoping that this show, this channel, can kind of. Be a uh, relief. Yeah, give you a break from. Yeah. So what and, we're gonna and maybe encourage you. That'd be awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask from you is if you enter the giveaway and you enter any of these giveaways that you would commit just by entering, not by winning, but you would commit just by entering to doing one nice random act of kindness for someone in your sphere of influence this week. Whether it's buying someone's meal at Wendy's if you frequent such a place. <laughs> Or if Wendy's exists, where you, you live. hang out in such high quality establishments. Well, we as like Wendy's. The Wendy's, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you could buy someone coffee. You could, you know, give a homeless person some money. I can't tell you exactly what that looks like for you, but you can give them these books if, for some reason, you don't want to keep yeah, these books. That's right. You know? If you get these books and you decide I don't like these books, pay it forward. Give yeah. them to somebody else, right? Exactly. So, without further ado, I'm going to go to my handy dandy cell phone. That was very underwhelming. My handy dandy winner drawer. <laughs> and we're going to see here. Can we get a drum roll? Nope. Okay. It's not in the budget. All right. Not the, okay. Not we don't budget. even have a... There is no budget. Our producer's telling me that is not in the budget. What producer? Sir, go ahead. What producer? Okay, here we go. Drawing a winner. Here we go. Man, this is... It is the winner... Mr. David Alexander McDonald. You won! 
fun. I'm hey, let's give a little dance. Do, 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 do. I even gave you some background music. Good job. Let's give a round of applause for David Alexander, man. Our producer is telling me that uh, we do not have any background music. What? Produ we don't have a producer. So, David, um, you are going to be getting these three fantastic books. We will contact you. Uh, we'll get a hold of you again. And this is a uh, this is good for David because he's letting us know that his cat is hitting him in the crotch a lot as he watches this show. Well, fantastic. Well, he, you just this has cat. brightened your day. I hope he didn't say daughter because oh my. I would be painful. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this brightens your day, man. Super mm -hmm. excited that you won. If yeah. you're just tuning in, we're gonna do another giveaway. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and get that link. Okay, you set that out. link up. And this one is an important one. Let because me tell this you was why. the one that is open to anyone. Yeah, let me tell you about this about this next giveaway. Uh, this next giveaway is really exciting because if you're a comic book collector, which you may or may not be if you're watching the stream, we cover a lot of topics. But today is a really big day for hardcover comic collectors. Uh, every Tuesday, a website called In Stock Trades and others, depending on what country you live in, put up the new comic books that are in hardcover, trade paperback format, and today there was a ridiculous amount of releases. So let me just tell you what came out today that interests me. Um, I most certainly did not get all of these, because I ain't rich. But <clears throat> here are some good books. There was a Wonder Woman. Okay. Uh, it's a, an absolute. Uh, it's from New 52 Wonder Woman. I've heard great things about the run. I've never read it. I don't know. Um, there was, uh, in the line of the War of Kings... There is a really cool omnibus that's a sequel to War of Kings. There is the fourth volume of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by mm -hmm. IDW, which has been fantastic, and I can't wait to get that fourth volume. Yeah. So how much how much is on this gift card they were giving away? So this gift card is not going to be nearly enough to, <laughs> to buy all the things that I just listed, because there's even more yeah. stuff that's coming out today. But there's going to be $20, which will hopefully get you... Yeah. At certainly all of some trade paperbacks yeah, or some epic so. collections or a good chunk of an omnibus. Yeah. If you don't live in the domestic U.S., if you live in the domestic U.S., we're going to give this gift card away to in-stock trades. But if you don't, we're going to give this gift card away to PayPal. And yeah. you can decide where we'll you just, want to spend we'll it. Give you that we're money. going to give it away. Earmark so, it, though. We're earmarking it. Open to everyone. The link has been sent <clears throat> out in the live chat. I pointed over go. here because obviously that's where my computer live is. Live chat. This is where the live chat is housed. It's this is really where all right. Of it's you right are. here. It's all right there. So in the meantime, we're gonna play a little game. Yes. This is a game that this we are. This is a good game. We're in, we're we're calling this one <clears throat> Superpower Would You Rather. And I want to see some people in the chat yeah. talk about this and in the yeah. comments below. If you've made it to this point in the video, mm -hmm. comment below because this is a head-to-head -head competition, yeah. my friend. So this is what we're gonna do. All right, we've. Prepared, and we haven't told each other mm -hmm. what we've prepared, but we've prepared a few <clears throat> superpowers that have really terrible catches to them. And basically, uh, Tyler's going to introduce one, I'm going to introduce another, and then we will decide after that in a competition which yeah. one is actually more feasible. I yeah, guess. which one we would want. Yeah. And we want to know. This is where we want to hear your feedback. And the loser is going to have to do something ridiculous. Later to be determined. Sure, we didn't plan that far ahead. <laughs> Later to be determined, but Tyler, this is important. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and introduce your first okay. one? Okay, and I don't want you guys at all to be biased towards me just because I did a Facebook Live video before this YouTube channel. I don't want you guys at all to be biased to me because I know a lot about comic books. Like, don't be biased to me. I don't want to be biased to me. Okay. I'm the one wearing the Elton John and Billy Joel Summer wow. 94 tour wow. t-shirt You're going right to go there? You're really so going to go I'm there. Bringing, I'm really bringing You're it really going to go there. You're bringing out the big Please, guns. Please, your first superpower. <clears throat> okay. My first superpower, you have super speed. Now, not super speed to break the time barrier, but you've got super speed. But for the rest of your life, you can only move backwards. So mm. you can you can run oh. at high speeds, but backwards. only back. But you can only walk backwards. You can only move backwards. So you're, your you're constantly having to go. Oh god! Okay, you're, right, gonna, right. Gonna, but you got super speed. But it's super fast. Yeah, I mean but you don't have to go super. If fast. you're not good, yeah. But if you're not good <clears throat> backpedaling, then you're you're, you're done screwed. For. You're yeah. screwed. All right. Here's mine. Okay. Let's hear here's yours. Mine. All right. Mine is you have uh, incredible, just unbelievable. Acute sense of smell, okay. okay. Like a uh, like take what a bomb dog can do as far as identifying substances. Yeah. Multiply that to the point in which you can walk into a room and go, 
and identify the things in that room that most normal people don't even wouldn't even think are have an odor. So you can identify like odorless stuff. Like, like it's that like this Coke bottle. You like, can smell yeah, the exactly. glass I can be like, bottle. Okay. The glass bottle is behind the couch. Like you know, this that Hulk sort of thing. figure. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I can be like, the Hulk is right there. I hadn't seen him yet. That's why this is powerful. Like this lame Billy Joel shirt. This awesome Billy Joel shirt okay. is right here. All right. Um but the problem is you are acutely aware of whatever's in that room. So if you take a big whiff, you're going to be smelling everyone's butt. Wow. Just everyone who's in that room, you're going to go... So you can't control it. Maybe. You can't no. be like, I'm going to only smell... Nope. The, okay. You're constantly... Right. Yeah, exactly. Which one out of those do you think? You know, it's a really tough call for me because, man, I'm always late. I'm <laughs> always late. Like, every time. If you know me, you know I'm always late. Wherever we're going, I'm late. But... I just, I'm clumsy. I don't have good coordination. So just somebody posted in the chat, um, Toby Blake said, first time you use that super speed, you're going to go full force into a brick wall. Like, yeah. that would be me. Yeah. I would go straight into a brick wall. So just by default, because I choose life, I want to live, I would go for the smell. Yeah, I'm probably going to go for the smell as well, mostly because I feel like that's something that after a little while... Um, you know, you could just tune out, yeah. maybe. Uh, I know you can't tune it out. That's kind of the point of the yeah. whole thing is you yeah. can't tune it out. But maybe you just get used to it. Okay. You know. Well, let us extent. know in the comments. Whereas the other one, you're constantly going backwards. Yeah. So, like, even in normal life, you can't walk forward, right? Maybe, is that how right, I understand? No, you yeah. can't go walk forward exactly. at all. Exactly. Well, let us know in the comments yeah. below what you would choose in yeah. this superpower yeah. head-to-head. So, um, we're, I'm going to give you that William, point. Cause William I'm, Bennett. Yeah, William Bennett says the butt one. That's how he described okay. it. Okay, so that's, that's fair enough. One. Okay, okay. everyone wants the sin power. Okay. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, so in that case, I get the point there. You get the point. All right. I'm going to make a note of it. Okay. Um, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and I get to introduce. Yeah, you, you hit us this time, okay? All right. Second one. Phenomenal reasoning skills. Okay. Superhuman reasoning to the point in which you can like accurately p- predict human behavior to like deter crime. So better than Sherlock Holmes. Better than Sherlock Holmes. Better than Batman, the world's greatest. Hold ever. up. Yeah. Hold up. I'm just saying. You're, really? That good. It's Better that good. than Batman? It's that good. It's that good. But you can only deduct things if you can work it out on a large whiteboard with a pen. <laughs> you know, the, a marker. Yeah. So you, have, you so, have to be in front of the whiteboard with a marker. But you, you can work out any... So, like, could you work out, like, probability? No. Like, no. You, you wouldn't be able to accurately predict or reason through anything because you in your normal life. The only way you can is okay. if you go okay. ahead and write that. So, uh, yeah. So it's like you're out on the street and something's happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't even pull out like a notepad and a pen. You it's not going to work. It whiteboard. has to be a okay. whiteboard. All right. Seems like, highly like, inconvenient. Exactly. I mean, we can find ways to work around it, but it yep. seems, seems rather inconvenient. Okay. Here's mine. You can fly, but only straight up. <laughs> That's it. You can go straight up, straight down. That's it. You can fly, though. Oh, this is easy. I'm definitely taking yours. You're taking the fly? I'm taking yours, yeah, because I forget where I'm parked all the time. <laughs> yeah, and that's true. That alone, that's right? true. I mean, there's very little practical uses for mine. D2, of course. There's very practical, little practical use, mm-hmm. but, you know, I would totally take the flight. Because I've always wanted to get, like, you look at the clouds and you just think, man, those look fluffy. Like, what if I could just go up there and just chill? That seems fun. Yeah. I'd take the flight. But yeah. but it really would be 99% of the time a worthless power. Like, yeah. acknowledging that your power stuck in a lab for the rest of the life, for the rest of my life, would be better. That would be more beneficial to humanity. Yeah. I would take the flight. Yeah. Go straight up, straight down. Yeah. I mean, because it's also the fact that if you go out of, like, the lab where the whiteboard is... Like you, you can't. You really can't figure out how to do anything. Basically, right. right. So uh, I think we're both basically going with flight on that one. Yeah. Uh, some of the early uh, responses here. Uh, right now, uh, Salvatore Zito says flying, but Jay Lewis says whiteboard, bro. Oh, okay. WBB. I don't know. That's a vote for it, but he already named the superhero. So. Dude, I like. He's the whiteboard, bro. Dude, he's think the about the branding there, though. Whiteboard, bro. You're onto something. You're on yeah. Find an artist and make that happen yeah. and just give us credit. So flying straight up seems to be winning, though. Um, <laughs> Toby Blake, our friend from across the pond, has said, could you use the blackboard power to work out how to fly? I mean, you might. Wow. But, that's a good... 
But chances, yeah, chances are you're going to completely forget how to do it once you walk away from that yeah. whiteboard. Yeah, that's so, true. Kind of looks like that okay. one's going your direction. Fine. Okay. It. So you go and ahead and now, introduce the final the This final is my line. favorite power. Before we go to the segment. This is my favorite power before we uh, cut to my segment. <laughs> Every time you involuntarily sneeze, meaning you can't force this to happen. Yeah. If, so, if you ask someone to make you sneeze... If someone intentionally makes you sneeze, so not just you mm-hmm. intentionally sneezing, someone making you intentionally sneeze, it doesn't work. But every time you intentionally sneeze, poof, cornbread appears. <laughs> every time. Huh. So whenever you sneeze, poof, a little bit of cornbread appears. Okay. It's so, out of nothing. God, I feel like that up until now we've been talking about superpowers, and this one's just an ability. But is it? <laughs> I mean, are you going to... Could you feed the hungry? Every now and then. <laughs> Not, not, not as often as you want. Not consistently, obviously. Consistency is not the point here, though. The cornbread is the point. Imagine this. You're on a date, and you're like, hey, girl, what's up? Achoo! You want some cornbread? Boom. You just got a girlfriend. Count it. So your ability is to maybe, on the off chance, impress the one girl <laughs> who loves cornbread that much. Well, when you when you put it like that, it okay. doesn't sound as good, but I'm pretty excited about it. All right. Right. Okay. Um, and it's not just any cornbread. I just feel the need to clarify. It's delicious cornbread. I'm, I wasn't doubting that. Okay. Part. I just want to make sure you understand. You're talking about really right. good cornbread. All right. Okay. Here's, here's the one that I'm really proud of. Last okay? one. The last one. This is it. Who's going to win? Either cornbread sneeze or super strength. Okay. Unbelievable super <clears throat> strength. But three times a day, you just completely forget that you have it. You like just completely for, forget. For how long do you forget? Until you discover it again. <laughs> oh, like, like, imagine the story of a super <laughs> hero first discovering, oh my god, it's got super strength. Like, you have to go like through that three times several a day. times a day. It so just imagine, like, <laughs> there's something falling, and it's about to fall on a woman. And you're standing there, and your friend who knows you've got the power is like, dude, go catch that thing. And you're like, no, I'm not going to go catch that thing. What I'll die. About? And the guy's like, you've got super strength. You're not going to believe him. You're going to be like, what are you talking about? Yeah. How the world would I have super strength? Wow, that's a really intriguing power. Yeah. Like but you... then something happens, and it's just like something falls on you, and you're like, oh, no. Oh. What? I've got super strength? This is awesome. Oh, my God. I could bend it. I could break this Coke bottle. I remember this now. I totally got super strength. And you remember it for a little while, but then at some point during Man. the day, three times a day, you're just going to forget. So. Wow. All right, so what, what are you going to choose? You choose which one you're going with here. Um, the one I'm going with? Yeah. I really do like cornbread. <laughs> I mean, cornbread's delicious. I'm going to eat a lot of cornbread. I'm going to go with cornbread sneeze. Well, I'm going with super strength because as mm. cool as cornbread sneeze is, you're talking about super strength. Something that for the time you remember it would be amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Okay, so we've got a tie. We've got a tie. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to show you another video segment. Okay. We're going to come back. We're going to look at all your live chat comments. So there's yeah. been a lot of them flying up Good. so far. Um, you know, of different names of, of everything. Uh, yeah. That's super good. The, if we have Whiteboard Bro, uh, The Elevator was the name, <laughs> get, the superhero name given to the ability to fly straight up. So I like it. <clears throat> so we're gonna sh- yeah, we're going to show you one more little video. We're going to come back from that. I'm going to set this segment up a little bit. This is a segment entitled, What Am I Reading? That's the only setup I got. Uh, That's it. Well, what am I reading? Up. Okay. All right. I went ahead and just sent out the uh, the sign up once again for the uh, InStock Trades gift card. Good. Because that uh, giveaway is coming up. Well, I mean, pretty much right when we get back from this okay. little segment. So Good. enjoy this segment. We'll see you back here in about four minutes. See you soon. Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here. What should you be reading? Let me tell you, it's Iron Fist. If you want to stick around for the review, go ahead. But if you trust me wholeheartedly, stop what you're doing and just go buy this book. You won't regret it. Oh, there's someone still here? I assume that everybody just went and bought it. Okay, well, if you're still watching, I guess I'll tell you why I like this book and why you should too. The character of Iron Fist debuted in Marvel premiere number 15 in 1975, and I honestly didn't know that much about him until this run came out. I had seen Iron Fist in other Marvel comics, but 
to me and maybe to like some of you guys, he was kind of this obscure character who never really seemed that cool. He had a pop collar, which we all know is a universal representation of a tool. And he ran around with Luke Cage, and that was back in the 70s when Luke Cage was wearing this fantastic gold outfit, a nice tiara. It was just super cheesy looking. So I saw Iron Fist and I thought, man, that's weird. Who would want to read that? That does not look good. Let me stick to my Spider-Man. Well, let me tell you guys, if you feel that way, put all that aside and give this book a try. This book was written by the famed Ed Brubaker. If you don't know about Ed Brubaker, let me tell you a little bit about him. Ed Brubaker is an Eisner Award winner. Now, for you non-comic fans out there, what that means is he's basically won the Academy Awards of comics. So he's an acclaimed writer, and you know when you buy a book written by Ed Brubaker, you're not going to be disappointed. It's also written by Matt Fraction, who's no slouch himself. The artwork and the storytelling in this book are great. One of the reasons I love this run so much is because it's a self-contained story. It takes place in the Marvel Universe, but it sets up its own characters and its own story that's kind of self-contained, and that's really fun to read. So the first story arc deals with this idea, this rich history of the character of Iron Fist, things we've never seen before. We now know there have been 66 Iron Fists before Danny Rand takes the mantle, and all of those Iron Fists leave a legacy behind, and it's up to Danny to figure out what that is. You know what, a little bit about what this is going to be like if you watch Avatar The Last Airbender. So not only is Iron Fist from a long line of Iron Fists, but we see right in this first story arc that there's another Iron Fist still alive. As we move into the second story arc, that's where the story just explodes with action. We move into this idea that there's not only one mystical city where Danny is from, but there's a bunch of other mystical cities, and in those cities they each have their own champions. And every so often they get together they have a tournament, and the winner gets this awesome prize. And I'm not going to spoil anything else for you other than if you like martial arts, if you like action, and you like mystical writing, this is totally for you. One final reason to read Iron Fist is that on March 17th, 2017, Netflix launches its fourth Marvel series. You guessed it, Iron Fist. So if you want to know about Iron Fist before that series hits, you kind of want to know some of his cool stories, and you want to be the cool guy in your group who can say, oh, that's not how they did it in the comics. Everybody loves to be that guy. You should read this book. You can buy the hardcover copy, which I have, which is going for a little bit more on eBay. I would suggest waiting for a reprint of that and maybe picking up the paperback versions, reading it on Comixology where you can purchase the issues, or the best place to do that is to read it on Marvel Unlimited. You can check out over 15,000 comics on Marvel Unlimited for a monthly subscription, and if you wait, they usually have a free month trial. So I would check that out, get the free month trial, or drop the 10 bucks it is a month and give this series a read. You won't regret it, and I'd love to know what you think about it to know if it's one of your favorite series. So if you've read Iron Fist, comment down below and let other people know that it's great and they should read it. If you haven't read it and you decide to pick it up, let me know what you think about it. I'd love to know. Thanks, see you next time. I can't believe you did the walking down a set of stairs to end that. Hey, because my two-year-old was child. Brilliant. Thank you. My two-year-old child thinks that's funny every time. Ten out of ten times. And she refers to me as Mr. Joe. She is <clears> very <throat> formal. She's um, very formal. I appreciate that kid. All right. Um, looking at the live chat, best yeah. I can tally it up, looks like Cornbread Sneezes won out slightly against... Woo! Uh, In against your face! Instant I'm a gracious Super winner! Strength. I'm super gracious. It's true. You Bro actually, job. Because you know that I enjoy all those things that you just did. You're right. And that's really humble of you to have done that to me. So thank you, man. I do. You Appreciate it. I that. like it when you touch my knee. This anyway. is the last episode of it. This right. is the, the final episode. Yeah. We're about to go ahead and draw for the Ooh. second giveaway. Um, before we it. do that, once again, I mean, just want to emphasize the reason that we're doing these giveaways is to, I mean... Help encourage more generosity, mm -hmm. just in general. Um, so because of that, uh, we mentioned at the beginning of the, the episode, but your friend John sent us these books that we're giving away, or that we yeah. gave away earlier. Yeah. Um, and uh, if any of you have stuff that you want to donate to the show... Um, in exchange, we'll give you recognition on yeah, the show. Lots but, of glorious no. oh, recognition. Yeah. But, you know, it's all about... Um, 
it's all about just giving stuff away and being generous to, to other yeah. people. And I like the fact that um, this gives us an opportunity to be really generous to people that we may never encounter in person. Yeah, in our that's lives. really cool. And there's something really special about that, I think. So that's I why agree. we that's why we're doing this. Plus, it's just crazy fun to sit up here and talk about it really nothing is. stuff that for we like an hour. Yeah. And you idiots watched this. I this mean, what awesome. a waste of time. Thank you. What thank a waste you. of time. But so, seriously, thank yeah. you for being here. Um, one last thing I want to mention is that again, if you're watching this after it aired, there will be another giveaway. There's another giveaway. Don't worry. And and. We're going to kind of share some details with you about that in a little bit, but um, comment down below, right? Yeah, and we'll yeah we'll get onto that in just okay. a little bit. But, so, uh, yeah. are you ready? Can I get a drum roll? Once if again, you're watching at home, drum roll. Producer tells me we cannot do that. Once again, we don't have once again. There's no producer. Tells me we cannot. So here is the second giveaway in stock trades. Draw winner. Oh, it gave us an error message. Come on, it's loading. 99%. Here we go. We Who's really, it going to be? We really need to refine The winner this is Justin Fields. Woo! Justin Fields, you just won a gift card. Justin Fields, you just won a gift card. Woo! Congratulations to you, Justin. Congratulations, man. Super excited for you. Congrats. If you didn't win tonight, yes. Before you. Get angry and rage quit. Rage quit this Don't rage episode. quit. Don't forget, we're gonna be giving away something else. All right. All you have to do here's what here's what the setup is. Okay. Comment on this video. We're gonna be putting out a bonus video on Thursday. Yep. All right. And then what we're gonna be covering in that video, it's gonna be short. We're gonna be covering the fact that um, Marvel and Square Enix have, are combining. Uh, licensing agreements, not companies, all that sort of but stuff. yeah, not as companies. They're they're joining Spoilers. forces. <laughs> yeah, oh. They're joining forces to produce some games. Square Enix is going to be producing Marvel games. Um, a little teaser has already come out for uh, Avengers. What reassemble? I believe yeah, is what it's it. called. Um, and so this next video, we're going to be talking about what we would like to see Square Enix do with the rights to Marvel. So yes. why don't you comment if you're watching this video? Um, Any time between now and Thursday. Right. So, Wednesday. And you just, have Wednesday. You have Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday. Today and Wednesday. And as a side note, I just want to mention the way YouTube works is if you're watching it live right now and you comment, right. it doesn't actually count because it won't show up in the comment section once this video is posted. Right. So We're going to be looking specifically at the comments. Right. So, we'll, we will when this, video, when this live stream is finalized, yep. it will be posted. Comment on it. You could win. Yep. Comment. Uh, with what you would like to see in a Square Enix right. Marvel game. All right, that's it. That that was it. Is that? I think we're is. Let's yeah. look at the time. Yeah, we're I just mean, a little bit. Of, we're good. We're doing a few good minutes time. over, but that's not bad. Or this is that's great. All right, thank you guys for tuning in to the first live yeah. giveaway show. Thanks for here watching. on Super Squad D. Super Squad D, where the D stands for Destruction. So uh, really you want to tell them how much. they can follow us? All right, we've got a Super Squad D Facebook page. Yes. All right, be sure to, to go over there because that's where um, we will be putting the links up to every Tuesday live stream. So yeah. look us up, Super Squad D. It's listed as a TV show on Facebook. So the Facebook page, go like that um, and uh, recommend it to all your friends also. We want to get as many live viewers as we can so this gets even more exciting. Um, I think this was a great you know great audience for a first show. Yeah, thanks for you joining us. You guys have us. been... Um, have been wonderful. Stellar. Absolutely wonderful to interact with here. So thank you for that. So mm -hmm. Facebook, we've got a Twitter, yeah. which uh, we didn't really do anything with so far. We were, we we're you know, trying to make the final touches yeah. on setting up the technical aspect right. of it. We've never really live streamed on this uh, grandest scale. So, uh, but Twitter, that's at Twitter slash Super Squad D. Mm -hmm. Once again, we'll be talking about uh, putting up giveaway links Things like that up on Twitter. So be sure to look us up there. Follow us there. Um, I believe that's uh, that's about it. That's it. Social media plugs. Yeah. Guys. Um, and we uh, do we want to say a special thanks to our special guest tonight, Alexander Hamilton. Yeah. Thank you, Alexander Hamilton, for joining yeah, us. Yeah, we appreciate that. Yeah. Huge. You're awesome. And happy 20th birthday to Final Fantasy VII. Boom. Released January 31st, 1997. And you know what else came out around that time? I don't. Super Saiyan 4 Goku. If you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, now. you know that Super Saiyan 4 Goku debuted at that same time. Yep. So a big, big week. 
Big, big week. week for the world. Big 20 week. years ago, it was a huge week for the world. Big week for you, too. One That's more right. chance to win some good prizes from the two of us here, the SSD squad. That's it. Yeah. All right, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you next week. That was Tyler. I'm Joseph. No, no. All right. So. Well, that's it. Thanks I'm for joining us. That. We'll see you next time. Later.